Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Films, and during the winter, what could be better than kicking back in front of the fire with a good book on our favourite sport? Running. Here are my 14 absolute favourites, and I'm going to hazard a guess that after this, you're going to want to put at least one of these on your Christmas list this year. The first book, I can't believe this, I've lent it to someone so I don't have it here in this pile. It's called Feet in the Clouds by Richard Asquith and this is the book that inspired me to get into mountain running in the first place. It's all about the history of fell running and about Richard himself's attempts to do the Bob Graham Round, which is the famous circuit of 42 mountains in the Lake District. Definitely give that a go and I'm going to try and get it back from whoever I've lent it to. If you're watching this video, I need that book back. Next, couple of books. These count as one because they're by the same person. Steve Chilton. Also in a similar vein, he's written about a history of foul running in the UK. So the first one is It's a Hill, Get Over It. Fantastic. Includes all the major legendary foul runners like Joss Naylor, Billy Bland, Helen Whitaker, um, Sarah Rowell. The next one is called The Round and that's also about the Bob Graham Round. But it's more of a factual account and more about Billy's record, which has remained unbroken for 35 years now, incredibly. 13 hours, 53 minutes from 1982. Both brilliant reads about the history of foul running in the UK. Next book, absolute classic, Born to Run by Chris McDougall. This will make you feel like a Tarahumara Indian running barefoot through the forest. Absolutely fantastic story, give that a read. Next book, Scott Jurek, Eat and Run. Brilliant book, all about not only his journey into ultra running, but also his journey into becoming a vegan as well. With loads of good recipes, I can recommend the Minnesota Winter Chili and the Mushroom Lentil Burgers, very nice. Give that a read. Next book is Trail and Mountain Running by legendary trail runners themselves, Wendy Dodds and Sarah Roll. This is more of an instructional book. It's got loads of guidelines, loads of training, coaching tips, warming up, preparing for races, that kind of thing. So this is a brilliant book all about preparing for trail running and running faster. Next book is by Andy Mouncey. It's called So You Want to Run an Ultra. Fantastic book. Andy's very knowledgeable about long distance running and some of the stories in here are fantastic and they'll make you totally inspired. Some of them will make you go, ooh. So definitely give this book a read. Next book, Running Science by Professor John Brewer. And the trail running section of this book is actually written by Paul Larkins, who now edits Trail Running Magazine, which I used to edit. So this is a fantastic book answers all those questions that you've always wanted to know like what are the benefits of altitude training, what are the effects of caffeine, what's the best body position for running and the importance of sleep for recovery. So that is a fantastic and beautiful looking book as well. Um, next book I haven't actually got with me but it's called Training Food and it's by Renee McGregor, sports dietitian and that is fantastic. It tells you all about the types of food you need to fuel your best performance in running and it also gives you over 100 delicious recipes as well so give that a go. Next book, Wild Running by Jen and Sim Benson. This is 150 routes all over the UK which have fantastic trails. So they've got even got maps, maps at the back. So give that a go, fantastic book. Next book, just in case you need some more motivation, Go by Tobias Muse. This is a great book all about challenging yourself. There's races all over the world, adventures that you can have. Buy this and be inspired. Next book is A Year on the Run by Damien Hall. Now, I love this book. I love the artwork in this book as well. But the brilliant thing about this is it's so motivational. There are 365 stories here from all over the world, all about running. So every day you can read a new inspiring story that will make you lace up your trainers and get out of the door. Next book I also uh, I've lent to a friend, it's called Running Beyond, it's by Ian Corliss and it's an absolutely fantastic book all about ultra and sky running races. Ian's a photographer and he's got fantastic pictures in there of classic sky and mountain races like the Glencoe Skyline, there's Tromso Sky Race, Serzinal, uh, Transvolcania, the UTMB, uh, Lakeland 100 um, and there's interviews with Killian Jornet, Emily Forsberg, Anton Krupica, the list goes on. Fantastic coffee table book. 
next book, bit more of a read this time. This is from our good friend Vassos Alexander. He's the BBC Radio 2 sports presenter and he has written a book called Don't Stop Me Now because he got into trail running a few years ago and he really, really loves it. So this is about his journey and there's loads of interviews in there with some cool people as well. So give that one a read definitely for sure. So the final book, I've saved my favourite one till last. This is The Pants of Perspective, amazing name, by Anna McNuff. And this is all about her 3,000 kilometre journey on the Te Araroa Trail in New Zealand. She went from the South Island to North Island and she spoke at schools all the way along. And this book is really, really funny. It's very heartfelt, it's very honest and it's very, very inspiring. It's the kind of book that makes you want to ring Anna immediately and say, hey, let's go for a 10 day run in the wilderness. That's how this book will make you feel. So that's my top 14 books. I defy you to not want to put at least one of these on your Christmas list this year. They are all fantastic. Give them a read.